What is going on guys? It's Bradley Freakin here once again. We're going to be doing another GeoGuessr daily challenge video. Um, a couple of people liked it last time, so we will see if we can continue the series and hopefully we can both learn something together. So let's jump right into this daily challenge. I haven't played in a couple days on some of these, um, but let's see what we can do. Okay, uh, starting off immediately, this gives me very Lesotho vibes. Um, yeah, almost definitely. The trees here are a little weird. Usually whenever we talk about Lesotho Eswatini, um, we talk about the trees being in Eswatini and you almost never see trees in Lesotho. Um, but with these flat mountain tops and yeah, and if you look up this mountain, you can kind of see how there's like almost like ledges. It looks like they are flat horizontal lines carved into it. You see that all the time in Lesotho. So um, we are pretty confident this is Lesotho, just a little kind of weird that we have trees. Um, but yeah, pretty confident guess here. It doesn't look as dry as some other areas. So we should be able, um, anytime it's dry, you want to guess kind of on this, uh, this western side. Zigzag helped me with that. So I think that we're going to go with a kind of more central vibe, more in the greener areas and see what we get. Yeah, not too bad. About 30 miles away, which is not too... Honestly, not that impressive considering Lesotho is is pretty small, but um, good guess here. So we're going to continue forward to round two. Looks like we are put down in Mongolia. Um, big way to tell this is Mongolia is anytime you see this kind of bland color of grass where it's very cold and you have nothing around you for just miles and miles, um, you should be in Mongolia. Now, it's actually kind of rare here that we have a small town. The majority of Mongolia is nomadic, so finding these um, can be helpful. If you are a meta person, one of the best ways to tell that this is Mongolia is by the um, Google car. This camping equipment up here uh, is added on to the Google car in Mongolia, almost all uh, coverage. Uh, I think there might be some outside of uh, Ulaanbaatar that might not have it, um, but the majority of this rural uh, Mongolia has it. Another thing is that um, 90% of the coverage is here on these main roads. So you typically don't want to go off here in these places where there is no, where there are no roads. Um, you want to land on a location of a road. Um, now going into specific region guessing on this one, I believe this is more Eastern if I remember the coverage. So I'm going to guess more on this side. We'll go with outside of Chinggis and see if that is correct. We were not correct. It's outside of Choi Balsan, it looks like. Um, but we're in kind of the same, kind of the right general area. I could have gotten a better score there, but my Mongolia is not as good as, um, other people's. So, uh, going to round three now, looks like we have a black Google car. We are near the ocean. And what do we see? We have some sort of hmm, symbols and emblem here. It looks Latin. Can't quite read it. We do have a flag, um, so we know that we are in um, Argentina. We have the blue, white, blue with the sun in the middle, so that is very Argentinian, and celebration of the Argentinian, uh, Argentina winning the World Cup. So what a great game if y'all got a chance to see that. If you didn't, please go watch the highlights or at least watch the penalty kicks or something. That was a phenomenal game, so congrats, Argentina. If we look closely at this car here, uh, we can see a black dot on the front license plate. That's also another good um, reassuring um, hint that this is Argentina. Um, now this ocean here is a little unique and we also have people in um, cold, oh, let me go back to the start. We have people here in jackets, so it looks like it's probably pretty cold. Um, so let's go over here on Argentina and find somewhere that would match that description. I do not see any mountains. There's another Argentinian flag. I don't see any mountains. I do see the coastline. So, man, this I really want to go down on this part of Argentina, Argentina um, near the coastline. But it is such a a risky guess because we are so far away from anything. If if we end up being here, like for example, we could absolutely be in Comodoro Rivadavia, um, somewhere up here. But um, I just am not sure. A lot of people forget that, like, even up here, Buenos Aires and Montevideo, this is further south than I believe all of Africa 
in terms of latitude and most of Australia. So this we're already at, you know, very, very cold temperatures, but I still think that this is going to be somewhere further south. Hmm. Let's go with Rio Gallegos. That sounds like that could work. It does. It's hard to tell what's land here and what's not. I think that majority of that is water over here. So I think and it is to our northeast. So yeah, let's go right here on the Gallegos River leading into um, the Atlantic Ocean and see if this is correct. <laughs> That's what we get for not going with our gut. I really wanted to go down here, but just wasn't sure if that was going to be worth it. We were right outside of Rio Grande uh, town in Argentina, Argentina, so and that would have lined up perfectly. Man, I'll be beating myself up for that one later. So going on to round four. So far, we're four for four on our countries. Um, ooh, this is kind of an interesting one. So we have these unique bullards here, um, the circles. There's only a few countries that have these uh, white circles in their bollards. Uh, we have Sweden, we have Switzerland, we have Estonia, we have Germany, we have Luxembourg. Um, I'm sure there's something that I'm missing. Um, but there are tiny details that make, make me think that this is, we kind of can narrow it down. Switzerland's bullards are usually rounded at the top. Estonia's, um, this stripe is just a little bit more of an incline. So this is roughly a 45 degree incline. Estonia's is probably like a 60 degree incline. So this does not look like Estonia's. Um, plus just the coverage doesn't really feel like Estonia to me. Um, but the biggest clue here is actually these trees. A lot of the times um, throughout Europe, you will see white paint on the bottom of the trees. But I think only in Luxembourg do they paint these white bands on the trees. Usually it's on the lower half, it's just a, you know, maybe a foot wide white band. Um, but you see that all the time in Luxembourg. Plus we have this Gen 2 coverage. So this all lines up for Luxembourg. So we will put down a guess here. I'm not too good at region guessing Luxembourg if I don't have, um, if I don't have a sign or anything. So we will just put this here and call it a day. Yeah, and we were right outside of uh, the city, so not too, too far. We are about three miles away. So going on to the last round, let's see what we find. And this one sucks. Um, we are in some rural area. Not sure what we're finding in terms of hints here. We don't see any unique foliage. So we are going to have to end up moving here. Um, if I had to hedge towards a country, I would probably bet Belgium right now. But again, we have not seen any signage. We haven't seen any license plates. So this is quite difficult. We do start to have some buildings here. And I do think Belgium still stands as a decent guess. Let's see if we can go a little deeper here. We have a yield sign. We have a bullard, but we don't have another bullard on the other side. This is very Luxembourgish. I wonder if we are in Lux. It's kind of weird. Uh, footage if it is. Sorry, this is definitely taking a little bit longer than our other rounds. Um, and it looks like we do have the yellow plates, so that would further solidify Luxembourg. Yeah, I think that Luxembourg is probably a safe guess here now. Just a little strange because usually you have that Gen 2 camera. Um, oh, and we do have the yellow uh, waystone, which you see that a lot in Lux. And if we want to be real specific, CR, CR, we're on CR336, so we have 30 seconds. We could probably actually get very close to a 5K here. The numbers, I believe, get further away, but usually the numbers are beside each other. So like 120 would be near 121. So here's a 300, 331, 332, 333, 337, 336. Here's 336. So we were not initially on this road. I think we came on to it maybe here. Wow. Yeah, 49.98. So we almost got the 5K, but again, we did have to move on uh, that last location. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, maybe even learned something today. Uh, let me know if you guys have any other video ideas for content in the future. I'm always looking for new ways to play GeoGuessr. So Hit me with that like button if you did enjoy the video. And as always, thanks for watching.